Hello and welcome or welcome back to Love More Chronicles. I wanted to do something for Valentine's Day, but it's not like I could get on here and give you a bunch of romance novel recommendations. So instead, I decided that I would spread some love throughout booktube and talk about some of my favorite booktubers. Now I want to preface this that I did make this list a while ago around the time that I first started booktube, which was probably like what, like six or seven months ago now. Uh, so if you're not on this list, it does not mean that I don't like your content. It just means that one, I probably wasn't following you at the time. You may be a newer channel that I've discovered, or you just weren't one of the very first people that I started following. This obviously is not an exhaustive list. If I wanted to go through every single booktuber that I enjoy, we would be here for a really long time. And I don't think any of us really have the time for that. So don't take it personally. Literally, this is just a random thing that I decided to do, but let's get started. The first booktuber that I want to talk about today is Kaz from Little Book Owl. She's on this list because she is literally the very first booktuber that I ever started following. And it was through her that I kind of jumped into the world that is booktube. Honestly, I had no idea that it was even a thing. I didn't really spend a lot of time on YouTube, but finding her channel just really pushed me into the book community, so to speak. One of my best books of 2020 was Vicious by V.E. Schwab. And before joining booktube, there were a lot of books that I didn't know about, Vicious being one of them, but if Katrina hadn't mentioned it in one of her videos, I probably would have never read it. Just a side note, I will link everybody in the description box below, so if these are people that you're not following at the moment but sound interesting, all of their information will be included. The next person that I want to talk about is Jess Owens. Most of us know her from her bookish community videos that she does every Tuesday where she keeps us in a loop about everything going on, the good and the bad in the bookish community. I love Jess. I love watching her videos. She's got such a great personality. I love her dog, Nigel. And aside from her tea videos, I love the other content that she does. Her reading vlogs are really cool. I love when she does reviews. I love it specifically when she does rant reviews. And I like that a while ago she started doing uh, book reviews while she was baking. I'm not a baker, so I'm intrigued by people who are good at it but she has definitely become one of my favorites and I definitely look forward to seeing her videos. The third person that I want to mention is someone that I talk about pretty often. It's Dasha from Mythic Pages. Surprise, surprise. Dasha is probably one of my best booktube friends, if that's a thing. Um, I love talking to her about ideas that I have and just shooting ideas off to each other. I also really love her videos. She's just such a great speaker. Like when she gives her reviews and talks about the way they make her feel, it's just so eloquent. And I just, I'm just interested by the way that her brain works. And I've done quite a few buddy reads with her so far and I really enjoy them. So if you're not following her, I highly recommend that you check out her channel because she's pretty amazing. The next person that I wanna talk about is also someone that I mentioned fairly often, Robin from Robin Reads. I'm currently in the middle of reading slash rereading all of the books in the Grishaverse with both Robin and Dasha. So the three of us have a group chat and it is such a great fucking time. When you watch Robin's videos, she's so sweet and soft-spoken, but she can also be a little petty and she's got a lot of good one-liners. Again, just someone that I love talking to and buddy reading with. So again, if you don't follow her already, you absolutely should. The next person is Erica from Clean Read Mom. Erica is like my tag buddy. I feel like whenever we do a tag, we always tag each other. Also, I just really love her book reviews. She reads a lot of books that I don't tend to be familiar with and whether or not she likes them, I always watch her book review videos all the way through because I'm always intrigued. It's like the way she explains them, even if she dislikes them, the way she explains them is just so intriguing and it draws you in. She never like straight bashes a book, but she will explain it in a way where if you like certain elements, she makes it appeal to you. I don't know if that made sense, but I absolutely love her. Again, follow her because she's awesome. And she's my accountability buddy this year. Both of us are working on our physical TBRs and reading at least one book a month. And that has been very helpful. I managed to get a few in for January, so hopefully I continue for February. The next person that I want to talk about is Tiana T. There's just something about Tiana where like, I just really want to be friends with her in real life, you know? She is actually the reason that I started reading Talia Hibbert. She really enjoyed Get a Life Chloe Brown and Take a Hint Danny Brown. And I just, I got those recommendations for her and Chloe Brown ended up being one of my top books of 2020. Surprise, surprise, good romance. But I really love her. Her content is awesome. And I really like that at the end of the year, she will lock herself in a hotel room until she completes her Goodreads goal. 
kind of sounds like torture, kind of sounds like fun. I don't know why, but those are some of my favorite videos of hers. The next person that I want to talk about is Books with Shay. Shay is someone that I found pretty early on as well, one of the very first booktubers. Um, and to be honest, Shay is kind of the reason that I decided to give romance a second try. That process isn't particularly going well, but watching some of her videos gave me the motivation to look into more romance novels and try to find something that I like. I also really enjoyed watching her during Vlogmas. She had a tea admin calendar that looked really good and I kind of want to get one this year when it's time. And if you read a lot of contemporary and YA, then Shay's definitely a good person for you to follow. The next person is Laura from Laura's Library Card. To be honest, I'm not 100% sure how I stumbled across her channel, but I really love the layout of it. Like literally her intro video is like the little punch out that you get when you go to the library. It's, it's so cute, I love it. Um, some of my favorite videos that Laura has done are reviewing episodes of Bridgerton with her husband. So that was really fun. I also really like her reading vlogs and her, I think it's called Status Stacks, where she does like her recent reads and what she's planning to read in the future. Those videos are really awesome. And she does read a lot of romance, but she also reads pretty much every genre, I think. So I just really like the variety that she has on her channel. The next person I wanna talk about is Be Bookish. I absolutely love them. If I had to pick like my top three booktubers of all time, they would definitely make that list. What I love about B is that they are real and raw and there's no sugarcoating and they will call you out on your bullshit and say it with a full chest and I absolutely love that. But they also have really great book recommendations. It was actually through watching some of B's videos that I decided to give Alyssa Cole's romance a try. I believe B started reading the Runaway Royal series and I commented and asked if I wanted to read Alyssa Cole, where do I start? And they told me to start with the Reluctant Royal series. I think I said that right. But yeah, they're awesome and absolutely one of my favorites. The next person I want to talk about is Shoshana. She is another one of my favorites. Absolutely love her. Pretty much like any video that she puts out, I'll watch. Even if I'm not super interested in the book or the topic or whatever, I don't know. I just really enjoy her videos. She's also the reason that I made the switch over to Storygraph. She has an entire video where she talks about the process and why she likes it and how it's better than Goodreads, which it absolutely is. And even though I still have my Goodreads account, I really only have it because I want to see how they match up at the end of the year. But if it weren't for Jashana, I don't know if I would have made that switch so quickly. Also, I'm pretty sure that I started following her because she and I were arguing with someone in the chat of a live stream once. So the next person that I want to talk about is Ashley from Bookish Realm. It was her live show that Jashana and I were arguing with somebody in. But I absolutely love Ashley. She's a librarian, so she brings a really unique view to booktube, I think. She also just has really great discussion. She used to do weekly reading vlogs, which were always really cool and really entertaining. And you get to see her daughter, baby girl, she's so cute. But she stopped doing that and then she started doing weekly lives where we'd either be sprinting or just chatting, but the discussions were always amazing. I kid you not, 80% of my TBR right now is because of her. Like that's not even an understatement. I don't think people really realize that like when you join booktube you learn a lot. There were so many books that I did not know about. If you ever need really great recommendations she's definitely the one that you want to turn to. The next person that I want to talk about is Rima Reads. I don't know how I found her channel but the first video that I ever watched of Rima's was her doing a character study of Inej from Six of Crows. She dressed up as Inez, she had the braid, she even had knives to complete the look. I mean, if anything, just go and watch that video because it was so good. I mean, that's really all that I have to say, right? I mean, that should be enough right there. Next person is Crystal from Crystal's Bookish Life. Funny thing about me following Crystal is that 99.999% of her content is romance. Contemporary, historical, paranormal, it doesn't matter. But I love her content. I love watching her. Her reading vlogs are awesome. And even though I'm typically not super interested in the books that she may be talking about, I just really love watching her and watching her describe them and her feelings about them. We do agree though that Talia Hibbert is amazing. And currently that is like the only romance author that I'm like full on supportive of. But there's just something about Crystal that is inviting and I love watching her. I also follow her on Instagram. I like her Instagram updates. I really liked when she and one of her friends did the kombucha challenge. I personally love kombucha. Crystal calls it fizzy vinegar, which 
is a fair assessment, but even though we may have huge differences in our reading tastes, I just really love her content and her channel. The next person that I want to talk about is Rana. I love her channel. She has some of the best thumbnails that I have ever seen in particular. I believe one was for her review of Bird Box and the other one was either a TBR or a wrap up of when she planned to read Nothing But Stephen King for a month, which more power to you because I could never. And I love when she just tags and there's just something about her that is just so inviting and I just absolutely love watching her. The next person that I want to talk about is Erin from Booked and Busy. Again, one of the first booktubers that I started watching when I first entered the booktube realm. Erin, while she mostly reads a lot of fantasy, particularly high fantasy I think is accurate to say, she also sometimes reads romance or She's reading historical romances right now, which is pretty cool. I love the variety that she has, but I've gotten a lot of good recommendations from her as well. And while I don't participate in readathons or book clubs or anything like that, she does have her Busy Bee book club and I'm always interested to see what they're reading and what her thoughts are. I think I first found Erin's channel when I was rereading The Hunger Games. I found her videos where she read it for the first time, so it was really interesting to see her thoughts going into that series in 2020 was the first time she read it so super interesting to see just what she was thinking and i've been going back to her channel ever since the next person that i want to talk about is anya i am in awe she uploads three times a week which is like more than most people do i'm at two right now and three just sounds like way too much she reads super fast she reads a crazy amount of books in a month and she's constantly doing recent reads videos and just like talking about everything that she's been reading she has tons of recommendation videos based on genre or diverse reads and with sapphic main characters or asian main characters or black main characters or in middle grade and she just has such a great plethora of content she's also created a bunch of original tags and i just don't really know how she has the time and energy to do all the videos that she does while she's in school. I don't know how she does it. Maybe I'm just lazy. I don't know, but you should follow her. The next person that I want to talk about is Camilla from Burroughs and Books. I love Camilla. She's just such a sweet person and I love chatting with her. I think I discovered her channel during this recent Vlogmas. I really love watching her then and all the tags that she did. She also has a way of explaining books that just really makes you want to read it. I got two recommendations from one of her recent videos. One of them was Scythe by Neil Schusterman. Mind you, I had known about this book for a very long time. This book's been out for a while, but it was something about the way that she described it that made me buy it. I don't know what sort of hypnotism that was, but you should definitely follow her. She's awesome. The next person that I want to talk about is Brie from The Locked Booktician. I think I found her on Twitter first, and she's also on BookTok if you have TikTok. But I absolutely love her. She reads a ton of mysteries and thrillers, which is a genre that I'm fairly new to. I think I really started uh, dipping my toe in that in 2020 and I do enjoy it. Uh, I just don't always know like where to turn. I feel like I don't follow a lot of people on booktube that read mysteries and thrillers. So Brie is kind of like my go-to. She recently did a video where she was reading, I think three books, all of them that have wife in the title. And I think she said that was gonna be a series. I'm not sure, but that video was really fun. Brie also has like a super soothing voice. Like if she ever narrated an audiobook, I would buy it, no questions asked, don't need to read the synopsis, I would just get it. The next person that I wanna talk about is Z from You Can't Catch Z. I absolutely love her. I think I say this anytime I mention her, but her TBR game is just so intricate and detailed and creative it is the most creative tbr game that i've ever seen and i just i literally say that all the time but i'm just so intrigued by creative people like i just i don't have that so i like to watch it in other people if you are someone who's like super into shadow hunters z is probably your person i'm pretty sure she has a shadow hunter tattoo which is pretty cool even though i stopped reading cassandra claire but still her channel is amazing and you absolutely have to watch her tbr game the last person that i want to talk about today is monet from life as monet again one of the very first booktubers that i started watching and she is just i don't i don't know what it is about her i just love pretty much anything that she puts out it doesn't matter what she's talking about she also reads a lot of fantasy so i've gotten a lot of recommendations from her and her makeup always looks amazing which is another thing that i don't do i don't wear makeup so when i watch people who do wear makeup i'm always super intrigued I'm just like, your face, it's art. And I don't understand because I literally have not one artistic bone in my body. 
I believe Monet is also the person that started the reading one star reviews of my favorite books trend, which I did do after watching her video. So if you haven't seen it, it's pretty interesting. Her responses are just really funny, but she's an amazing person and you should definitely follow her. So those are all the booktubers that I want to talk about today. Again, if you're not on this list, it doesn't mean that I don't love your content, but 20 is already a lot and I'm already tired. So we are just going to call it quits there. Hopefully I'll be giving you some booktubers to follow. And if you would like to recommend some to me, please do. Otherwise, that's all I have for you today and I'll see you in the next video.